Welcome, everybody. Yes, sound is on. Happy Monday evening. Welcome to General Knowledge Trivia with Bigatrix Entertainment. My name is Ali. Thanks for joining us this evening. We're going to get into some trivia here in just a moment. I'm going to tell you all about what we have coming up this week and how this game works. Before we do any of that, I want to make sure that right now everyone understands they need to join the online game system. It is separate from YouTube. You'll hear and see us here on YouTube, but in order to actually participate, answer some questions, earn some points. You want to join our online game system at online.bagotricks.com. Put in tonight's game code, which is tricks, T-R-I-C-K-S. Once you are there, you've put in the code, you'll see this screen. It's going to ask you for four pieces of information. Only the very top one is required, and that's where it says enter your nickname. It's looking for the name that you want to go by during tonight's competition. On the first line, second and third, we're just looking for the city and the state that you are joining us from. That's just for fun so we can see where individuals are cho choosing to join us from. Uh, I see a lot of individuals from Illinois. I see Danny's here from Miami. Welcome, Danny. Uh, I think I saw uh, a whole, yeah, uh, a whole numero uno from Saskatchewan, eh? Up in Canada. Thanks for joining us again tonight. Uh, last but not least, if you have one, go ahead and put in your Begatrix loyalty program number. If you don't, you can sign up in the link that's in the description of this video and click on go. Once you're done, you see this screen that says the game will begin shortly. Now, while you're all doing that, let me give you a little more information about A, what we have coming up this week, and B, how this game is going to work tonight. So first and foremost, thanks for choosing to spend your Monday night with us. If you're anywhere near us, it's been a really weird weather night. It was really kind of nice, and then... It stormed and thundered and, and lightning, then the sky was pink right and then it was pink, and who knows nowadays. Um, but thanks for being here. Uh, tonight we have general knowledge trivia starting right now. Tomorrow we have a fundraiser for Sharing Connections out of Downers Grove, Illinois. Uh, they do a lot of great stuff with helping individuals furnish their their location that they're living at. Uh, people that may not be able to do that, they they really help out in a lot of different ways, and we are helping them out by hosting an online fundraiser. Tomorrow night's trivia is actually going to be a lot of fun. It is all movie trivia, uh, and if you're a fan of the series, tomorrow is Star Wars Day. It's May the fourth, so I will have a healthy healthy smattering of Star Wars trivia within the movie trivia. Uh, so please do join us for that. Tickets are available, uh, required for that one. You can find that information on Facebook. We will be back on Friday with General Knowledge Trivia with me. Once again, uh, Friday at 9 p.m. Uh, we'll be back with another trivia night just like tonight. A lot of fun stuff coming up next week, including, I want to mention this now because I think there are a lot of fans of this one, Chicago Sports Trivia, next Monday at 7 p.m. Uh, that one's sponsored by the, Elm, uh, I'm sorry, by the Fountaindale Public Library, Chicago Sports Trivia, next week at 7 p.m. So get that on your calendars. Make sure you're free for that and you can have some fun. Uh, also, I have been neglecting to mention this stuff lately, but we do have a lot of in-person events up and running now. Um, if that's your thing, you're vaccinated, you want to go out and safely have some fun, We've got some options for you. You can hang out in Downers Grove on Tuesday nights in Plainfield at Freedom Brothers in St. Charles at Pollyanna uh, Brewing. Or if you're in Chicago proper in Lincoln Park, we have trivia at 730 at Tapster. Uh, on Wednesday nights, we've got you covered in Lamont and in Roselle at both Pollyanna locations at McWethy's in Bolingbrook and at the Cellar Door in Downers Grove. All of those locations are general knowledge trivia this week. If you want to play some friends trivia, you can head over to Aurelio's Pizzeria in Naperville. Delicious food, fantastic pizza, and friends trivia with Joey, 7 o'clock on Wednesday. And then on Thursday at Elmhurst Brewing this month, we have Schitt's Creek trivia with Sean. We have music bingo every single Thursday in Bolingbrook at the Promenade um, with Nate. And then Miskatonic Brewing, we have our monthly general knowledge trivia night there in Darien this week as well on Thursday. So 
make sure you check out our Facebook page. Our website has all of these events as well. Uh, and please join us if, you lot, if you'd like to do that. Um, and if not, if you want to stay at home, that's why we're continuing to do these online events. We will be continuing to do these online events for the foreseeable future. Uh, we put these on for free, but we do accept any and all donations that you'd like to send via these links down in the corner. Those donations that you send allow us to continue hosting these online games. Uh, so we want to do this for as long as possible. We have to pay for these online platforms. So when you guys send tips and donations, uh, it allows us to keep these games free overall for everybody uh, and to continue to do these for as long as possible. So thank you to those of you that have sent any tips or donations in the past. Thank you to anybody that happens to send one tonight. We really, really appreciate it. As it says, it's never, ever expected, but it is always sincerely appreciated. So thank you so much. Uh, with that said, let me jump into the corner and let me introduce my co-host, Taco! Uh, he's not co-hosting anything. He's sleeping. Uh, maybe Pierre will co-host. He's awake. And Pierre, you want to host some questions? <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they may bark for you. That's some encouragement from the dogs to do well. Uh, in the meantime, Gina. Right yeah, Gina. I was about to say it. Gina is also here. She's there in the chat. I know you guys are already talking. Um, so we're going to get this kicked off. It's general knowledge trivia tonight. You guys know the drill. I'll be asking random questions. I will read the question. You'll see it on YouTube. Once I start your 25-second question timer, you have to choose in this first round either A, B, C, or D. It's multiple choice for the very first round so you're going to choose a b c or d whichever one you believe to be correct if you are in fact correct you will earn up to 150 points towards your total but you're earning those points based on how quickly you answer so make sure you lock in your answer as quickly as you can but be careful as soon as you lock in an answer you can't switch to a different answer uh all right so with that said here we go first question is a practice question this one's just for fun i'm going to throw it up on the screen this is what every question is going to look like. So those of you who may be here for the first time or haven't been here in a long time can see. Uh, question number one is just for fun. It's a practice question. And that question is, what is the name of your host today? That's me. What is my name? Is it Sam, Coach, Norm, or Ali? What is the name of your, your host today? Sam, Coach, Norm, or Ali? Taco, I literally just drum my fingers on the desk. That's all I did. Okay, bud. There's not, there wasn't even a horn or anything. I just drummed my fingers. Thank you, Team Florida, for the donation. From Taco, from Pierre, from myself, from Gina. Thank you so much for the donation. Team Florida, we love you. All right, everybody's in. One person said Sam. Three people said Coach. Three people said Norm. 17 people correctly said Ali. Great job. Uh, again, this wasn't worth any points, but if it had been... Those of you who answered D would have got the points. All right. From this point on, these questions actually count. Uh, let me say some hellos. Hey, Christy Ann, Steph Curtis, John Jay, welcome back. Nice seeing you. Uh, great job at Star Wars Trivia tonight. John got second place there. Hey, Mert Whirlin, Steph H, hello. Chris B, hello. Derek Ashworth, welcome. Um, Sarah didn't have crazy weather. The birds were talking to each other. I love it. Hey, Danny G. Kim Wheatley, welcome, welcome. I got an email from you. I'll be shooting you an email tomorrow, Kim. I did see that. Uh, Middleton Lens, welcome. Thanks again. <laughs> Not interested. Uh, you weren't kidding about the barks for encouragement. I told you. Uh, Derek, no worries. If it comes up, I'll look up your number for you, uh, and I'll take care of that. Don't even worry. It should be in your email, I think. Uh, all right, so here we go. Question number two. Which of the following options is not one of Carol Brady's daughters? On the Brady Bunch, which of these is not one of her daughters? Is it Alice, Marsha, Cindy, or Jan? Hey, Taco, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you're actually leaving now. I didn't mean to embarrass you. <laughs> uh, he just walked over and went to sleep right underneath my feet that's really cute and now he left that's less cute all right everybody's in and yes a double social to start the night which of the following is not one of carol brady's daughters that would be alice alice she took care of him not one of the daughters great job everybody that's a two drink social i am gonna need a new drink cheers all right question number three 
Uh, which version of these Microsoft Windows operating systems was is the oldest? Which of these was released first? Was it Windows Me, Windows 7, Windows XP, or Windows Vista? Anytime I knock on Summer's door, Chica goes crazy. Yeah, Christian, that's exactly how Taco is. I wasn't even knocking on anything. I literally just tapped my finger on the desk. But look at him. Big crazy and big chill. Two smushy faces. All right, everybody's in. Let's see. Uh, five people said Vista. Six people said XP. Seven people said me. Nine people said seven. Windows Me is Windows Millennium, which was the first of these four released. I believe it was Me, then XP, then Vista, then seven. Uh, so good job, everybody that put A. You got it right. Yeah, Clippy. <laughs> Chris, hey, it looks like you're writing a letter. Would you mind if I popped up in front of it 97 times and didn't really help you with anything? Thanks, Clippy. What would I do without you? Question number four, <laughs> some U.S. history. Who was the main author of the Declaration of Independence? Other people had revisions and things to say, but who was the main author of the Declaration of Independence? Was it Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, George Washington, or Alexander Hamilton? She was not a fan of the kids going to school today. <laughs> oh, no. Are they? How long are they back for, Christy Ann? Are they back in person school? Hey, Jess. Hey. I don't know. As he glances over to his <laughs> I'll think about it. All right. Everybody's in. Uh, this guy did write a lot. Three people said Alexander Hamilton, but that's not the correct answer. It was his best friend in the whole world, JK. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Great job. Uh, that is a social. Cheers, everybody. We have one more question before we look at the standings for the first time. So give it your all. Let's see what happens. Question number sink. At 8 minutes and 55 seconds, what 1992 song by Guns N' Roses became the longest song to ever enter the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100? I don't think it hit number 1. But at 8 minutes, 55 seconds, the longest song to ever enter the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100. Was it Patience, Civil War, November Rain, or Don't Cry? I should have said, what did I miss for coming in on that cue? Yeah, Jess, that would have been slick. Oh, yeah. So what did I miss? It's not too late. John Hancock signed his name all over the project, though. Yeah, he showed up. Middleton Lens, yeah, he showed up like, all right, so guys, uh, did we finish our group project? Thomas Jefferson sweating his ass off. Like, yeah, guys, we finished it. Don't worry. We got it. Uh, everybody's in, and almost all of you got this right. It was November Rain. That iconic music video, I think you were too. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, Jess, for the donation. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, that's question five, which means it's time for the standings. Let's take a look. In first, currently, is Geralt of Trivia. Second is Danny. Third is Surly Duff. Fourth right now is Lightning Thunder. Eat crap. Fifth is Hasera. Sixth is Learn Fernigan. Seventh, Sorella Sand. Eighth, A Hole Numero Uno. Ninth is Dashman. Tenth, Wild Bill Flip Flop. Eleventh is SF Curtis. The Angelica's Artie and Winnie in twelfth. We have the Cookie Catastrophe. Yeah, Cookies in thirteenth. Team Cream. In 14th, Mert Whirlin in 15th, The Cookie Catastrophe in 16th, It's Over Bananakin in 17th, JMO in 18th, Miss LaRocca in 19th, Ah, woo, Werewolves in Lockdown in 20th, We have Steffi Star in 21st, Batty in 22nd, Some Tigers in 23rd, Mama Lens in 24th, Sangria Night in 25th, Pack and Hammered in 26th, a poo poo and a pee pee in 27th Yay. and hail to the victors currently in 28th uh we are <laughs> wild bill code to play pick not coming up i'm not sure what that means but i'll give you the uh the link here kim 
you can just uh, click on this link here. That'll take you straight to the game, Kim. All right. Um, give me one sec. All right, <laughs> you saw what happens uh, whenever either Gina, uh, Gina, Gina or I gets up uh, to go do anything. Uh, both dogs ran after Gina. Uh, so we're going to move on to question number six. Here we go. Since 1588, so this, is a, this is a tough one, since 1588, what annual championship has been held every single year in the English county of West Sussex? If you want to see the annual championship of what, you would go every year to West Sussex. Is it llama racing, wimberry picking, egg throwing, or marbles? China. <laughs> when you were gone, I said this is what happens when either Gina or I, I get up. But it's because I was thinking of Regina in Saskatchewan when I said Saskatchewan earlier, but I was considering saying Regina. And then I always forget if it's Regina or Regina, but then I remembered, remember it rhymes with fun. Yeah, why did you say Oh, cause I, I said, this is what happens when either Gina or I gets up, but I was thinking about Regina. And then I said, Gina. Well, I'm going to be single soon from the look I'm seeing on Gina's face. <laughs> She's very angry. Let's look at the Gina cam. <laughs> That's why Regina rhymes with fun. Exactly. Everybody's in. This is a tough one. You guys split it two ways. 15 people said egg throwing. 12 people said marbles. Uh, the correct answer is my marbles are full of mouth lately. Marbles! Had a good run. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Uh, marbles. The annual marbles championship. All right, question seven. What was the name of Hulk Hogan's 1980s Saturday morning cartoon? If you've been playing trivia for the last few weeks, you might know I ran into a whole bunch of Hulk Hogan information. What was the name of Hulk Hogan's 1980s Saturday morning cartoon? Was it Hulk and Friends, Hulk's Heroes, Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling, or Hulk Hogan's Real Americans? I want to see llama racing. Where do I go for that? That's a good cool, question. Uh, apparently, Ecuador, Sarah. Ecuador is where you're going to go for llama racing. Well, that's I posted a video. I wouldn't do it now because it'll mess up your, your trivia video, but I did post a YouTube video if you want to watch some llama racing. All right. Seven people said Hulk and Friends. Six people said Hulk Hogan's Real Americans. Eight people said Hulk's Heroes. I think that was Hogan's Heroes. Eight people also said Hulk Hogan's Rock in Wrestling. That is correct. Rock in Wrestling. You can see llama racing at the Llama Rama. <laughs> Be right back. Off to Ecuador. Uh, does Janessa's dad have a this? That's not. Is that a handlebar mustache? Hulk Hogan mustache type. Horseshoe. I know I always say that wrong. Handlebar is different. That's a horseshoe mustache because it's really lucky with the ladies. I think that's where it got its name. No? Yeah? No? What? All right. Question eight. Uh, in which neighborhood of Manhattan was Carrie Bradshaw's rent-controlled apartment, according to its address of 245 East 73rd Street? It's a fake address, but it's a real location. 245 East 73rd Street, Carrie Bradshaw lived in what neighborhood was it west village upper east side midtown or greenwich village question submitted by shirtless dave no that's the worst thing about this uh middleton lens is i've had over the last two weeks i've had like four hulk hogan questions and becky and shirtless dave haven't been here i'm sure you know they got plenty going on but uh whenever they are here i never have hulk hogan questions now i have a tons how'd you like the beer it's really good you can have more. Food. 
Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Click the wrong button. Everybody's in. Uh oh, it's a Chris B social. It's been a minute since we've had one of these. The correct answer is the Upper East Side. Upper East Side is where she lived. Great job. Cheers, everybody. Question nine. What are the names of the comic book superhero alter egos based on Jay and Silent Bob from Kevin Smith's series of films? Jay and Silent Bob have comic book superhero alter egos named what? Is it Ganja and Hooch, Spliff and Cannabiscuit, Bluntman and Chronic, or Roachman and Doobie? You go to Le Mans to see the racing. John H., I just got that joke, and I like it. It was a lot of fun, Jess. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. <laughs> also, this is a series. Not It's not that they're a series, but I would love to just go back and watch his entire ser you know, films that Kevin Smith has done. Uh, correct answer is Blunt Man and Chronic. Blunt Man and Chronic. Although, do you know it's like impossible to get Dogma? Uh, it doesn't stream anywhere, and the DVD on Amazon is, like, ridiculously expensive, so I might have to visit my friends on the open seas. Yeah, the, a special edition DVD is $90 on Amazon just to watch Dogma. I want Alan yeah. Rickman, and I want Alanis Morissette, Chris Rock, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck. Uh, question 10. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. Oh, he doesn't need another Jennifer. In 2021... Trent Reznor was nominated for two Oscars for Best Original Score. Prior to becoming a film composer, Reznor was the founder of what Hall of Fame rock band? Was it Nine Inch Nails, Muse, Ministry, or Soundgarden? Set. Oh, you saw it at Half Price Books for $11? Steph, I should have told you I wanted it. Dang it, that's my fault. Silent Bob does always have the wisest words. He's a very good example of just stay quiet unless you have something good to add to the conversation. All right. Thank you, Steph. Uh, four people said Soundgarden. Two people said Ministry. 23 people said Nine Inch Nails. 23 people were correct. Great job. Let's take an updated look at the standings. Currently in first is Surly Duff. Second is Danny, and third is Geralt of Trivia. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. You'll get into the next set of questions here in just a second. Oh, big yawn. No teeth, big yawn. All right, here we go. Question number e eleven. What popular MTV series was known for musicians giving very great acoustic performances? What was the name of the MTV show where... Musicians came on and gave acoustic performances. Was it MTV Downtime, MTV Chill, MTV Unplugged, or Austin City Limits? Still got that Dashboard Confessional DVD for this. Mm -hmm. And I downloaded on 56K. On 56K, I downloaded Pearl Jam's uh, episode of this. This is a fun show. It was like one of the first videos I ever downloaded, and I think my parents killed me it was like lime wire or whatever so i would just pause it and then come back and then, but it took me probably like five days to download mm -hmm. 
you'd go to school in the morning, you'd yeah. start something, come home. Come home, hope that my computer had crashed from all of the uh, <laughs> viruses from Kazaa uh, or LimeWire or ShareBear or whatever I was using at the time. Not Napster. I didn't do any videos on Napster. All right, everybody's in. Let's take a look. Every single person got it. MTV Unplugged. Great job. All right, question number 12. In 2004, the Los Angeles Lakers traded Shaquille O'Neal to which NBA team? This wasn't his first team uh, that he was on. He had already been traded. The Los Angeles Lakers traded Shaquille O'Neal to which NBA team? Was it the Celtics, the Cavaliers, the Heat, or the Suns? Yeah, if you're almost done with your download, somebody picked up the phone. Mm. Yeah, we had uh, we had a separate. We ended up getting a separate line for the internet. We had a separate phone line. That was really fancy. Mm-hmm. Well, computers were my life for like ten years. It was all we did. And now you spend no time on it. Now I'm never on computers. <laughs> Three people said the Celtics. Six people said the Suns. Eighteen people correctly said he was in florida he left florida he went back to florida but this time to miami welcome to miami i'm just praying nobody called the house yeah all right question 13 in the movie the shawshank redemption the actual prison where filming took place is in ohio but in the story what state was the prison located in is it ohio maine massachusetts or pennsylvania Can you imagine kids these days with dial up yet, yeah, Chrissy? Aunt? No, I cannot. It's I mean, crazy. Yeah, it's they crazy. Went from what they have now to dial up. Yeah. If that's all they knew, they'd be fine. Absolutely. Like we were. But just think, like, imagine trying to tell them you had to wait for an image to load. <laughs> like, remember, it, from the top down, like an image would load, a picture. Nowadays, you have a, an hour movie that pops up and it, you don't even get buffering. But a it's not their fault. Picture. I know. It's just crazy to think how far I we've know. come. Uh, let's see. One person said Ohio. Eight people each said Massachusetts, Pennsylvania. Ten people said Maine. Would it help if I said this was a story by Stephen King uh, and 90% of his stories are in Maine? Maine, the correct answer. Great job. Ten of you got points. That was a tougher one. Question 14. Though it's usually muffled because of his parka hood, who voiced voices, it's still on, the often killed Kenny on South Park? Who voices Kenny on South Park? Is it Henry Winkler, Trey Parker, John Hansen, or Matt Stone? What a fun show. I want to watch the. I haven't watched the special they did. Can I hear a joke? Always. I went to a beekeeper to get 12 bees. He counted and gave me 13. Sir, you gave me an extra. That's a freebie. <laughs> That's a freebie? <laughs> That's my kind of joke. One person went with Henry Winkler. I applaud that. But everybody else split between the two creators of South Park, Trey Parker and Matt Stone. They, between the two of them, do most of the voices. Uh, the correct answer is Matt Stone. Matt Stone. Yeah, not the fines. It was Matt Stone. All right, question number 15. Which of the following individuals was buried famously with a guitar, a Bible, and some cannabis? Who was buried with a guitar, a Bible, and some cannabis? Was it Bob Marley, Timothy Leary, Jerry Garcia, or John Belushi? Is this a trick question? No. Oh, there's two people it could be. Yeah. I mean. 
Uh, 11 people said Jerry Garcia. 15 people said Bob Marley. Bob Marley is the correct answer. Great job. Question 16. How does James Bond prefer his martini cocktails? Most of the time. It's changed sometimes, but he is famous for asking for his martinis how. Stirred, not shaken. Extra dirty. Shaken, not stirred. Or with three olives. Ooh, I'll tell you like that. That's true. Uh, 24 people said shaken, not stirred. Great job. 86% of you. That's a social cheers. Great job. Let's take a look at the standings. Surly Duff currently in first. Danny in second. Hasera in third. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. We'll get into the next set of questions here in just a second. All right, everybody is in. Everybody's seen where you're at. We're going to move on to the picture round tonight. This picture round tonight is a fun one. I'm going to show you a picture of a U.S. president, and you just have to tell me who it is. Uh, there's a kicker here I'll explain in a second, uh, but I want to explain what's changing on your end is rather than having multiple choice options, you have to type the answer in. You have to hit submit before time runs out. So rather than just clicking on an answer, you have to type it in, hit submit. Now, since I'm asking for precedents, I want to be clear here. If there's a president that has the same last name as another president, you need to give me the first name too. Uh, so if you're going to answer Bush, I need George H.W. or George W., for example. Uh, if it's a president that we've only had once with that last name, you don't have to go that far. Uh, but, okay, here's the kicker. All of the presidents you're going to see were sculpted out of Play-Doh. I did not do this. Uh, this is somebody much more artistic than I. Uh, they made these presidents out of Play-Doh. Some of them are going to be pretty simple. Some of them are going to be tough. So give it your best shot. Here we go. Question number 17. Name this Play-Doh U.S. president. Name this Play-Doh U.S. president. Jess, did you know that he wears a hat? Did you know that he has a beard? <laughs> yeah, Chris, you were going where I was going. Yeah. <laughs> was he assassinated? <laughs> Jess, yes. Yes. Oh, I love it. Every single person got it right. Nobody missed this one. It was honest. Hat wearing, beard wearing, assassination unfortunately getting abraham lincoln yeah. question 18 name this plato u.s president who this ba -ba -bum 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 -bum. who is this president but was he tall Ooh, play abraham lincoln john i like that 
All right, all right, all right. Everybody's in. This is Tricky Dick, Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon, the correct answer here. Great job. Question number 19. Name this Plato U.S. president. Have we ever had a blue president? I mean, not in public, Chris, but who knows what they look like when they take off their masks. I don't know. Isn't, aren't they all lizard people? Isn't that somebody's theory? <laughs> uh, ooh. We have your head blue president. We had an orange one. <laughs> uh, Middleton lens. I love it. Uh, everybody's in. Speaking of an orange one, yes. I don't think this guy was that orange. There was actually. Um, let me see if I can find this. I just saw this. Is this the one that I saw? Yeah, I think somebody po oh here here somebody posted. Uh, well, let me I guess mark these right for you. But then somebody posted this on Reddit the other day. Uh, they created what what George Washington would look like if he was alive today. Weird. That's so weird, but it's great. It's, good, it's, it's perfect. Freaky, yeah. It's very freaky. All right. Uh, question number twenty. Name this Plato president. Who is this? Yeah, this is Dr. Manhattan. Oh, cranium is fun. Yes, this one, uh, he is missing. So if you were buying this at the store, uh, they would sell this individual along with his bath time playset. William Taft is the correct answer. Lock in. He would just fit perfectly in the bathtub. William Taft. Great job. Ten of you got it. Number, oh, you know, we need to sculpt William Taft out of butter. That's what we need to do. We can do that. Okay, we'll do it. I can't do it. Name this Play-Doh president. Who are we looking at? This president was bought to you by Tim Burton. Yeah, Chris, you're on with that. Yep. His eyebrows are amazing. Sweet little clouds. I like these logo, the fonts. All right, everybody is in looking for something specific here. This was a Roosevelt. This was Teddy Theodore Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. Great job, everybody. You made it through this round just fine. Currently in first is Sir Lee Duff. In second, the Angelica is Artie and, excuse me, Winnie. And in third, currently Danny. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. We will get into the final round here in just a second. This final round of questions will be just like the first round in that it will be 10 random questions from all sorts of categories, not like this picture round, but it will be like the picture round in that you have to type the answers in. You will not have multiple choice options to choose from. So with that said, we're going to dive right into this now. Here we go with question number one of our final round, question number 21. Was that one? Here's question 22. Which mammals belong to the genus Ovis? So if we are talking scientifically genus Ovis, we are talking about what common type of a mammal? It's a pretty tough question to start with, but we'll see who knows their science. I only pictured Teddy Roosevelt looking like Robin Williams. Yeah, it was that night, uh, night at the museum. Uh, the timer is off. Yeah, Christiane, there's still a timer, but you're not losing points. 
uh, just to clarify. So you do still have a 25 second timer, but the points don't decrease. So you have all 25 seconds. Thank you for asking. That is correct. Uh, the correct answer here, this is tough. Cows, whales, monkeys, chimpanzees, orangutans, cows. Uh, the correct answer, the genus Ovis is sheep. All sheep would fall in here. Sheepy sheep. Great job. Six of you got that. It's a tough one. Uh, question number 23. Uh, in what country was the organization Greenpeace founded? In what country was the organization Greenpeace founded? Founded. You have 25 seconds. Type it in. Do you like the gift for this one? Green peas. Because there wasn't a good green peace gift. Except for, uh, what's the guy's name from Seinfeld when he joined Greenpeace? Elaine's boyfriend. Oh, um. What was it? Daryl. D D yeah, something with a D. <laughs> what was his name? Somebody will know. Greenpeace. Thanks, Steph. I'm glad you got that. What was, uh, yeah, what was it? The voice of out of Adventure Brothers. Oh. Um, Daryl Putty. Daryl? Putty. Thank you, Steph. No, there was no different boyfriend. Oh, then I don't know. I was thinking of Putty. Uh, it was Russell Dar Dale Dalrymple. Russell Dalrymple uh, was the one who joined Greenpeace. Uh, that was this guy. He looked like this. We have Seinfeld trivia coming up this month uh, oh, at a bunch yeah, of locations. Yeah, Russell Dalrymple. But you're yeah, you're thinking of Putty from um, was that Rules of Engagement? He was on for a long yeah. time. Yeah. But thank you, like thank you, Stephanie Curtis. That would have made me crazy. Yeah. So. And Kronk wasn't that Kronk? Kronk yeah. Yeah. And a lot of stuff or the one of the rides at uh, Disney World. He was the voice of. Anyway, I'm here. I promise I'm looking at this. The correct answer, Christiane, would you like to announce it? Greenpeace was formed in Canada. Canada is the correct answer. Greenland is a great guess. Oh, that is a great guess. Greenpeace, guy. Greenland, I think that makes sense. Uh, but if you learned anything from Mighty Ducks, you know, it's very icy in Greenland. It's very green in Iceland. Uh, the correct answer is Canada. Great job. Soren, thank you, Middleton Lens. Yes, it was Soren. I remember seeing him. Uh, question 24. It's a tough one. What does QR stand for? If you're talking about a QR code, very, very popular right now. What does QR stand for if we're talking about QR codes? He was the tick. Patrick Warburton. Yeah. Patrick Warburton. Oh, I love Soren. B-movie. He's on Family Guy, Joe Swanson. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. He's on Puppy Dog Pals, mm -hmm. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Series of Unfortunate, Adventure Brothers, you said that, right? Mm -hmm. Trip Tank, Crowded, Joe Dirt 2, <laughs> Sequestered, Rules of Engagement. Yeah, I liked that show. Scooby-Doo is the voice of a sheriff. He's an archer. Sorry, guys, I'm down this rabbit hole for a second. Emperor's New School, Kim Possible, The Axis, Jesus, these are all just voices. Oh my god. I would love, oh, that's my, I wish I could have been a voice actor. But we still can, we can do it from here. I mean... Alright, everybody's in. Correct answer is Quick Response. Good job, this is a tough one. Oops. Quick Response. I didn't say Canada, but you also <laughs> missed your exclamation. You Canada? Canada. Canada, eh? I, my, here's the trick to my accents is they're never the same. <laughs> they change what every single time. <laughs> it's not a good thing. I'd rather be more consistent. Uh, don't ask me about this gif. Referring to her age at the time of writing it, what was the title of Adele's debut album? What was the title of oh. Adele's debut album? Oh, yeah. So I googled Adele gifts, and this is the first one that came up. And I can't tell, like, are all the faces Adele? Or is it just the Pikachu face that's Adele? They're all her. Is it? I d couldn't tell if the Pidgeotto. That's the first one that came up. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the first one that came up that I liked. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they are. Because you like how Bulbasaur is being carried by Butterfree and Zubat's carrying Squirtle. But then Pikachu 
is riding Pidgeotto. He's not being carried. He wasn't about that. No, I, you're right. Uh, Pikachu's pink. That's right. Correct answer here is 19. So 19. When I was 19, I worked at Hollywood Video and Parade of Shoes. Oh, yeah, when that's, I was... That was my big uh, achievements. We get tie tie. Oh, that's fair, Middleton Lens. Yeah, when I was 19, I was slinging phones for Verizon. I certainly wasn't putting out albums. All right, everybody's in. Let's take a look. A whole numero uno in first place. Sorella Sand in second. And the Angelica's already and Winnie currently in third. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. We'll get into the last set of questions here in just one moment. All right, here we go. We have uh, five questions left. Question number 26. I choose you, Adela Chu. <laughs> 26, the famous city of Casablanca wow, is game. located in what real country? What country would you go to if you want to visit Casablanca? We need to watch this. Casablanca. <laughs> Sounds like a sneeze. Uh, tell it you. <laughs> All right, everybody's in. Yeah, run to the shower curtain, as Chris said. A lot of you were close with what you put. Uh, it is not Monaco. It is Morocco. Morocco. Great job. Exactly One three of my quarters of it. Ooh, yeah. Yes, right. I randomly. Keep there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, let's not talk about Epcot. I want to go so badly. I just want to eat and drink everything. Question number 27. Uh, by what name would you know the singer whose real name is William Broad? You know a very famous singer by a stage name whose real name is William Broad. Who am I talking about? We will be in Epcot. Yeah, I saw that, Chris. Yeah, I can't wait to see all your photos. I know. I just want... Remember the Japanese stand with the... Um, they had the alcoholic drink, but they had, like, chocolate in yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the coffee one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But France is just... And the, the, the margarita with the black ants on the rim. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, Taco just sprawled. Oh, I forgot. I, I always forget I have this camera. You got a lot of cameras. I mean, yep. All right. Everybody's in. It's not Will I Am. <laughs> Billy freaking Idol. Yes, it is Billy Idol. William Broad. Billy Idol. All right. Question 28. Exactly. I'm looking for a specific number. How many bytes are in a kilobyte? We're talking about computers here. How many bytes? <laughs> are in a kilobyte. It's a specific number. Don't look at the number I put on the screen. Pretend you didn't see that because I did it by accident. Pay no attention to the man. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to see what Beavis is typing if there was anything put in there for fun. Doesn't look like it. Drink. Oh, Chris, you're right. That's my fault. Cheers. Yes, they're really going there, Middleton Lens. They're coming to Epcot. A one, a two. Uh, the correct answer is 1,024. 1,024. Uh, it's a whole series of exponentially getting larger numbers. 1,024 bytes in a kilobyte. You know, the, the prefix would lead you to think 1,000, so don't feel bad. But it's technically 1,024. Uh, all right, question number 29. What river 
flows through the Grand Canyon. What famous river flows through the Grand Canyon? Uh, I'm going to have to, just to be clear here, I'm going to have to place a giant order with Cookie Catastrophe and then just uh, pay a shipping tax to uh, the Barbians, if that's okay. If we can just make this work out uh, on your way back, if you could just grab a giant box of cookies for me. Mm. Yeah, I think Gina agrees. Uh, the correct yeah. answer here is the Colorado, the Colorado River. Great job. May 29th is the one time we won't be home. How am I supposed to get my cookies? Uh, question number 30. Who stars as the genie in the 2019 live action movie Aladdin? Who is the genie in the live action remake of Aladdin? What? The live action? You were thinking of the original? Yeah. See? Where's the, oh yeah, this is today, right? His uh, Instagram post? Oh yeah. All over the Best internet. Today. Uh, the correct answer is Will Smith. Will Smith. I, I figured most of you knew this. Actually, it's a social cheers. But I did this because Gina was talking about, uh, and I saw myself too, this post by Will Smith today, which I just loved. Because Will Smith is certainly an action star and known for being in very good shape over the last two decades. And he posted this. Uh, and I think it was pretty cool. He just said, I'm in the worst shape of my life. It's been a quarantine for everybody. You know, don't be, don't be ashamed. Yeah. I, I thought that was pretty cool. But I mean, he'll... Michael Bay commented and was like, let's get back in the studio. Yeah, right. Michael Bay's like, uh, we got like three films lined up. Uh, I don't like this. All right. Final question. Number 31. What Spanish city, that is a city in Spain, lends its name to a variety of bitter orange? It's a real variety of bitter orange. Shares its name with a city in Spain. Oh, oh, we're looking at August 21st. Are we? Okay. Can you confirm that, Middleton Lens? I think you said that one's better, right? I mean, just let me know. I'm in. Yeah, I think they said the 21st is better, so that's where I'm leaning because I don't think it makes a difference to me. All right, everybody's in. We have Valencia, Madrid, Clementine, Tijuana, Tangerine, Clementine, Modelo. The correct answer is Seville. Seville. Chicago, August 21st. Yes, Seville oranges. Great job. Uh, everybody, that is the end of these questions. Look at these dogs. Jesus. Uh, we are going to go over the final standings here in just a second. If you're in first, second, or third... You're going to win yourself some taco bucks tonight. Uh, first, second, and third will have taco bucks just automatically added to their account. Uh, so don't go anywhere. Well, I mean, you can leave. You don't have to stay. I'll get those added. Uh, but whether you win taco bucks or, night, thank, or not, thank you all so much for being here tonight. Thank you to those of you that sent donations once again. We really appreciate that. That's what uh, allows us to continue doing these online events for as long as possible. Uh, with all of that said, please do join us tomorrow if you're available for our online trivia fundraiser for Sharing Connections. It's movies trivia, so a very wide range, all different movie trivia with a whole bunch of Star Wars questions because it is Star Wars Day tomorrow. And then we'll be back on Friday with general knowledge trivia again just like this in this format uh, at 9 p.m. So with all of that said, here are the final standings in first place. We have <laughs> Sarah in second, the Angelicas, Artie and Winnie, and in third, a whole numero uno. Great job, everybody. Whether you finished your first or last doesn't matter as long as you had fun. So 
with that said, thank you all so much for being here tonight. Uh, until next time, be safe, and we will see you soon. Have a good Bye, one, everybody. Guys.